An American man <laughs> live tweeted that he'd been trapped in a Waterstones after staff accidentally locked him in. Must have been so boring. I've no idea how he kept himself occupied. I just hope he had YouTube on his phone. <laughs> For the younger viewers, a Waterstones is like a really big kingle that you can walk around. <laughs> Robbie Williams videoed himself singing various songs to his wife during her labour. And if you're wondering what he opened with, I think it was some forceps. <laughs> all right. OK, you ready for some big fat questions? Yeah. Of course yeah. you are. OK. Take a look at this clip of Bono. What I want to know is, what is he apologising for? Oops. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, I have this beautiful idea. Well, I got carried away with ourselves. Um, artists are prone to that kind of thing. Drop of megalomania. Um, touch of generosity. Dash of self-promotion. <laughs> and <laughs> deep fear. Are you all right there, Mickey? <laughs> you know, it's that knobhead lessons, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Say sorry, mate. <laughs> OK. For our next question, it's over to the one and only Lily Allen. Hello, Jimmy. Now, I have dealt with my fair share of online haters, but nothing compared to poor old Dong Wen, who withdrew from public life after he was accused of creating something almost as addictive as crack and distracting the children of the world. But what was it that he had created? OK, so what did Dong Wen create? This was meth, I'm fit. I mean... <laughs> Almost as addictive as crack. It was, it was not methamphetamine, I can tell you that. OK, so what did Dong Wen create? Crowdfunding website Kickstarter continued to finance projects of budding entrepreneurs, but what unassuming project raised an unexpected $55,000 this year? Angry bed. Oh. What's that <laughs> uh, Sarah has thought of something <laughs> filthy, it would appear. <laughs> Just that, Nick Kevin. It's what he's for. <laughs> what a good way. It sounds really good. Yeah, it's what he's for. <laughs> it's all he's bloody good for. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at. <laughs> Fair enough, that is his job. OK. This is Japanese politician Ryutaru Nonomura being questioned about his expenses in a press conference. His reaction to the questioning went viral. What was so unusual about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are you planning to take over the world? <laughs> That laugh suggests that you're maybe planning to do something evil. <laughs> no. <laughs> OK, what internet fad did Charlie Sheen do with $10,000, Matt Damon do with toilet water, and Patrick Stewart replace with a glass of whiskey? So what did Charlie Sheen do with $10,000, Matt Damon do with toilet water, and Patrick Stewart replace with a glass of whiskey? OK, have you, have you got the answers, Kevin, Sarah, you got...? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. OK. Richard, David, you got answers? Yes, thank yeah. you. Um, you saw a clip of Bono apologising. What was he apologising for? Because they basically put their album onto everybody's iPhone for free. That's what I... Because I, I woke up in the morning and I just thought, man, I'm not going in today. <laughs> I've just saved myself £7.20. <laughs> what, did you think it was a good idea, Mel? I thought it was a great idea. Yeah, I didn't think you were allowed to put shit through people's letterboxes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kevin, Sarah, do you get this? Yeah. Forced. Underlined the word forced as well. Forced you, his album. Have honestly. you written Hi Jimmy and then yeah. drawn a dick? <laughs> oh, they're separate. No, they're separate, man. Hi what Jimmy. Are you paranoid, just, just aren't hi Jimmy. What the hell? There happens to be a dick there as well. <laughs> uh, David and Richard, do you get this? I mean, what he says would apply to a new aftershave. <laughs> and the dash of whatever it was, self importance, a bit of a flavour of self promotion. <laughs> Little, little scent of guff, you know. <laughs> His new aftershave. He must have an aftershave. Yeah. <laughs> He's got dog food, hasn't he? Bono has not got dog food. <laughs> that's Bonio, <laughs> and you know that's Bonio. <laughs> 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 OK, so the free download of his album is the right answer. Apple uploaded YouTube's album to everyone's iTunes account, whether they wanted it or not. Next question. Lily Allen asked you what Dong Wen created that distracted the children of the world. What do you think? Well, we, know, we went a bit old school. I think we might be a bit out of whack. But, well, because uh... I was saying bejeweled. It's something like bejeweled. And then you said that new version is Angry Birds. No, I... I... Zzz, duh. 
No, you, I said Flappy uh, Bird. Flappy Bird? Yeah, you, Angry Bird is quite old, isn't it? I don't know, because I don't Don't say the Angry things. Bird is quite old, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> you are playing with fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm tempted to give you a point there, because yeah, you knew I it. Would, I you would. knew it, Mickey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew so it. You I said was... Flappy Birds. Yeah. I knew we it was knew. a bird doing something. OK, what did you get, David and Richard? For this one... Yeah. I had no idea for we this one. one. But Fla you got... Flappy chicken. <laughs> well, I will give you that on the same basis that they got Angry Bird, you got Flappy Chicken. Okay. It's Flappy Bird. Oh, right. Yeah. What did you get, Kevin? Game something. Bods when it was something birds and it was a game. OK, you can all have a point with that. Uh, Don Wen was the creator of Flappy Bird. He took the game off sale because he said, I don't need the attention. I don't yeah. need the hassle. I'm he didn't want the attention. Yeah. And yet we bring it up. <laughs> Point. He wants everyone to stop talking about it. <laughs> Who compared it to crack in terms of how addictive it is? Um, surely you'd need somebody who's tried crack and played this game. <laughs> sure. Just so, can you imagine if it's genuinely more addictive than crack that people who are addicted to crack forget to take crack <laughs> because they're so keen to play this game? <laughs> that would be brilliant. So I'd go, oh, I've got to come out and need crack for two days. <laughs> <laughs> This, this guy has invented a cure for crack addiction and now he's taking it off the market. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mr. Flappy <laughs> Bird. <laughs> OK. Uh, next up, I asked you what unassuming project raised over $55,000 on Kickstarter. What did you all think? Well, I didn't like this one. Okay. We, we didn't have a clue, so Mel kept saying she wants a glass of wine, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to ask. <laughs> Can Mel have a wine? <laughs> yeah. So what did you get, David, Richard? Uh, it's already crossed out on the thing, so I mean... <laughs> I don't know, you read it out. I mean, I'm tired, I'm depressed, we're completely demoralised. <laughs> So you put a, f a foot pedal operated cake bin? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kevin, Sarah, what did you get? Uh, potato salad. That's the right answer. How much did he raise? He raised $55,000 for a potato salad. Uh, he used the money to hold a festival called Potato Stock 2014 with <laughs> bands, food and potato salad, of course, to raise money for charity in the end. He thought we'd do something good with it. <laughs> All right. So you saw, you saw a picture of a Japanese politician uh, Ryutaro Nonomura being asked questions about his expenses. What was unusual about his reaction to the questioning? Yeah, he was getting really upset and crying, from what yeah. I remember. He, he it was quite something. Yeah, he was crying, but as I remember, he was, it looked like he was really trying to cry. It was... and he'd done something that was obviously wrong, and he was trying to seem upset about it so people might take pity on him. I think he genuinely looked upset, but I mean, well, you can judge for yourselves in a second. Did you get this, Kevin, Sarah? Um... He either cries or he gets his cock out, because either would be unusual. <laughs> he wanted unusual, that's unusual. I normally do them both at the same time. <laughs> I have a very specific order I work in. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, all right, so uh, I think you all got that. Yeah, you all got that. Well done. Um, OK, I asked you what did Matt Damon do with toilet water, Patrick Stewart do with a glass of whiskey, and Charlie Sheen do with $10,000. What do you have? The ice bucket thing. And yeah. I did that. Did you do that? It's freezing, yeah. Um, Kevin, Sarah, what did you get? Uh, we got ice bucket challenge. Lovely. Uh, David, Richard? We also put ice, ice bucket challenge. Should we have a look at the greatest ever ice bucket challenge? Oh, Take a look. A water challenge! <laughs> I nominate Marshall, Adam, and Tom. Here we go. <laughs> say this evening will be as funny as that. <laughs> so it's the part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. All you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news this year. You can only ask yes or no questions. So ladies and gentlemen, my mystery guest! <laughs> say too much. Uh, they, they're going to ask you questions, yes or no questions only, and he will reveal 
So afterwards, a, how a we yes or no questions, yes and no, or, or questions to which the answer is yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask, did you win Eurovision? No. <laughs> Is the thing that happened to you, or you did, a thing about which you are pleased? Yes. Did you create something very unique? No. Was it a protest sort of thing? You're sort of on the right lines there. What, not deliberate, but yeah. What do you mean, not deliberate? Well, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> I'm not giving you any more clues. <laughs> that's another question, like an genius. An accidental no. protest. <laughs> yes. Did, did you get stuck in water stones? <laughs> no. no, that could have been a protest against books. <laughs> Did you get um, sort of arrested for something? Yes. Are you a criminal? No. <laughs> Did this thing happen in Britain? Yes. Did it involve someone quite high ranking? Yes. Okay, yeah. I think you've asked okay. enough questions. Oh, I, I think it. you need to write yeah. down yeah. Yeah. Oh, what you think it yeah. might be. I know that's gay. Yeah. Mm. Are you a keen jogger? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> have you ever I met the Prime Minister? <laughs> <laughs> And you are the worst in this game. C A M. Oh, you're such shit. <laughs> Next time, can I get somebody else's team, please? <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see why everyone wrote. Okay, see, so, um, Mickey and Mel, you've got. He did Dan Cameron, didn't he? Dan Cameron. <laughs> Danny, straight in, boss. Get over there, yes. you posh bastard. Uh, <laughs> Sarah, what did you get? Uh, attempted to kill the Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> with sport. Attempted to kill with sport. Uh, David, Richard, what did you get? Jogged into David Cameron, the Prime Minister of here. <laughs> should, should, we, should we take a look at you in action? Yeah. Oh, we've got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. OK, yeah. so tell us what happened. What, well, who are you and what happened? Well, my name's Dean Farley and I ran into the Prime Minister. Yeah. Round of applause, well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what, what happened? Well, I was running on my way to the gym. I tried to run around this bunch of men in suits. Right. And then into? Into the Prime Minister and then into the back of the police van. <laughs> Did, what kind, of, what kind of contact did you make? I mean, did you properly went uh, over? Uh, well, that's probably about oh, us. Oh, well, did, so nothing, really. Nothing. Was he quite firm? No. The <laughs> <laughs> security guards are, though. <laughs> and then presumably they just went, oh, just a misunderstanding, just a bloke out for a jog, not a problem. No. <laughs> oh, sure. What, what happened? I got taken down by the security team, cuffed. Right. And then thrown in a van for an hour. <laughs> They didn't talk to you when they you were in no. They just put you in they the van. They just put me in the van. <laughs> and what were they doing then? Having lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. OK, well, let's take a look and see what that's done to the score. So, uh, Mickey Flanagan and Mel have 14 points. They're in last place. Uh, David and Richard have 19 points. Uh, Kevin and Sarah are in the lead at the moment with 23 points.